How do we do this? How do we wear short sleeves three days later? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How does that happen, Dawn? Yeah, it's the weather. That's, that's just, incredible. That's, I know. It was. It was incredible. And, of course, you know, it takes just the right ingredients to get snowfall, and that's why it comes once in a blue moon, at least for our area, because normally we just, uh, temperature is a little bit too warm. Our average high this time of the year is 65 degrees, or, and so you can see that uh, kind of an unusual thing. All right. Well, starting off with a look at our live pinpoint Doppler and showing that a little bit of rain is coming into the forecast picture and you can see that that is most likely going to affect some of the coastal areas as it's moving generally to the south and then to the north over Mississippi but down toward Plaquemines Parish, Venice and Boothville you may see a shower or two uh, throughout the evening and then into tomorrow we do have a chance of showers generally though you can see these showers are just shooting straight up into Alabama and into Mississippi well what we've all noticed the last couple of days is the rise in temperatures temperatures have gone up about uh, 60 or 10 degrees each day. We started off with temperatures in the 50s yesterday and then or 60s, 50s Friday, 60s yesterday and then shot up to the 70s today and you can see still mild in the overnight hours. 62 at New Orleans International, 63 in Gramercy, 63 in Homa, 63 in Lafitte and 62 in Covington and it looks like t uh, temperatures are going to stabilize in the overnight hours and we'll see lows generally right around 60 degrees for both the North Shore and the South Shore. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. We have seen cloud cover Saturday and Sunday from that moisture coming in from the Gulf. 66 at the airport currently, 64 at Audubon Park. These are National Weather Service temperatures, 66 in Slidell. So look at that. Dew points in the 60s, and these are the dew points we generally get in the summertime in the 60s and 70s. Winds out of the southeast at 10 miles an hour. Highs today, look at these highs, 73 degrees at New Orleans International. Quite a change, of course, from what we saw on Saturday and really, or Thursday rather, when we had the snowfall, and really what we've seen the last couple of months. We've just seen these roller coaster temperatures, maybe hitting 70 one day, but then back down to the 50s. Well, we're going to see 70s for most of this week, and you can see everybody but Bell Chase and Slidell and actually Biloxi saw 70s for today. So what is happening? Well, we have a southwesterly flow in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, the upper-level jet stream bringing the divides cold Arctic air and warm tropical air is generally shifting to a more zonal flow. So we're getting cloud cover coming in, but we're not getting the cold air. We also, at the surface, have had high pressure that's bringing in that return flow from the Gulf. You can see those low-level clouds coming in, and that's just brought the moisture, and that's why our dew points are up. And this picture shows it with the arrows coming generally in a southeasterly direction. We do have a front to the north of us, but that front and this cold air is not going to make it to our region. We actually have high pressure over the Gulf that's going to block all this cold air. Look at this, though. The middle part of the country is seeing some of the coldest air of this season. It's minus 12 degrees in Rapid City, minus 15 in Denver, Colorado. So look at all this cold air. And then we were in the 70s today. It's unbelievable. They're getting their shot of cold air right now in the snow across portions of the Rockies and into California. Here's that upper-level jet stream that divides that cold Arctic air and the warm tropical air. And you can see we're on the warm side of it. We do have a chance of showers through Monday, but we remain on the warm side of it. This cold front is going to move just through and bisect Louisiana, so northern Louisiana could see back into the 50s and will still be in the 70s. And that goes really until Tuesday. That front actually moves to the north. Fog could be a problem the next couple of mornings as we do have a lot of moisture coming into the picture. Tonight, temperatures in the 60s. Morning fog is possible. For tomorrow, we do expect mostly cloudy skies and a chance of showers. Temperatures even warmer than today, possibly around 76 degrees for 77 for your afternoon high. And then you can see we increase that chance of showers going into Tuesday. All seven days, temperatures in the 70s. And of course, uh, talk, folks talking about how it reminded them of Christmas. Now we're in a, in a warm pattern, which tropical. is not, yeah, tropical pattern, yeah. exactly. All right, thank you so much.